Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Leo. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, tell me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Leo. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, if you choose to, you could ask me a question in the comment section. I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. All right, Leo, I scurry the crystal for you today, and the image that appeared within the crystal for you was the numbers 09, so 09. Now, that could be significant to you. Um, you'll have to let me know in the comment section of how that applies to you. But that is what immediately appeared within the crystal. And it was 09 is what appeared in the crystal as soon as I looked at it for the zodiac sign of Leo. All right, let's get into your reading. The first card to come out for you today was the sun card. So with the sun card being here, this is happiness. This is joy. This is a soulmate energy on an innocent level. This is being things being rebirth here, abundance. Next card out for you is the seven of coins. You have worked very hard towards this. This is something that you put in your blood, sweat, and tears for, and you're watching the seeds manifest of this. Next card out is unfortunately the tower card. So someone here has caused a tower moment within your life, within your happiness and your stability. Next card out for you is the queen of swords. So this could possibly um, have two meanings here with the queen of swords. This possibly could be the energy of the person that has done this. Um, they could be an air sign energy, could possibly be a female, someone that has uh, kind of had their heart broken a lot and is taking it out on you about your new relationship. This could be a family member. This could be um, a mother, a sister, a cousin, a friend, you know, take it how it resonates. It'll apply differently to everyone. But this is someone that is, you know, trying to uh, cause a tower moment because they're not happy within their own life. Um, the other flip side of this, this could be your energy where you're in the queen of swords energy where you're removing anyone in your life that is, you know, causing these tower moments for you. Next card I'll offer you is the Seven of Swords, because this person's in the Seven of Swords energy. They could possibly be an air sign, but they don't have to be, because we have two cards here that are showing air sign. Um, with the Seven of Swords being here, this is someone that's very sneaky. Uh, this is someone that thinks they're going to get away with something here with the Seven of Swords energy, trying to cause this tower moment, trying to cause a disruption with your happiness, because they're coming from a low vibrational, jealous energy. Next card out for you is the King of Wands, but you're going to be still in the King of Wands energy. This is a loyal energy. This is someone... That is, you know, very grounded, fiery, tempered when crossed, but you are going to still be on your throne. You're not going to be dethroned from this individual. Next card out for you is the Ten of Cups. You're going to still have happiness, abundance, uh, all good things overflowing for you here with the Ten of Cups, despite this person's efforts, despite their tower moments. Next card out is Roots, Reconnection. So with the Root card being here, it's letting you know to reconnect with your roots, your heritage, you know, where it is that you come from, because there's lots of power in that, and not to look outside yourself you know, ever for uh, people's approval, you know, our roots, you know, what God has, um, you know, brought us up from is letting you know to look at that, to focus that, focus on that here with the roots card. Next card out for you is the willow interconnection, <clears throat> excuse me. So with the willow uh, interconnection card being here, it's letting you know that you're very, we're all connected here, but especially if you are specifically related to someone or very close to someone, you could feel their emotions. And it's also letting you know here to, you know, basically don't take offense if anyone gets kind of like a bad attitude with you one day. It could be just, you know, this person's just not having a good day. But with the Willow Interconnection card, it's letting you know to, you know, also I'm picking up, you know, protect your energy from, you know, feeling, being an empath, picking up on someone's negative energy when it's not your own. Next card out here with the Willow Interconnection, it has the medicinal benefits, the Willow Tree, uh, the bark can be made into an aspirin as a pain relieving ingredient. So all in all, I see a good reading here for you, Leo. Yes, there is someone here that is you know, trying to cause a disruption in your happiness, but they're doing this because they are coming from a demonic energy. Whenever, anytime a demon sees us doing good, it'll try to cause a disruption, but I still see you having the Ten of Cups here. All right, Leo, if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.